So today we are finally playing The Walking Dead Onslaught. Now, this has been a long time coming. I was meant to play this as soon as it came out back in September. Of course, it was just a few days before the season end finale for the main show. And then World Beyond started straight after. And of course, Fear the Walking Dead followed soon after that. And before it was even released, it was delayed. It was meant to come out in 2019, September, but it came out just a few months ago. Now, this is the first VR game I will play on the channel. I, of course, need to check out Sense and Sinners, but I chose this one first. Because, of course, it is in the Walking Dead TV universe. This isn't an entirely new cast of characters. This is literally Rick, Daryl, Michonne, and Carol. And from what I've seen in the trailer, uh, Eugene. <laughs> I've seen the trailer for this a few times, and I've seen some parts with Rick. But that's all I've seen. This is entirely new to me. But what's clear is this is going to be a lot more scary. I think most people, well, after season two got so used to the idea of the walkers, it didn't scare you at all after that, but I think this is going to change that. Being up close to them, I mean, I can talk shit about it. I can say, oh, she's cringy, oh, he's cringy, why would he do that? I'm not just talking about it now, I'm going to be in it. And I have a feeling being up close to these walkers, it's going to really scare me. And I'm, I'm not in the mood for jump scares. Why has it got to be so much scarier? Now, I'm hoping to have a full series of this game, start to finish, play it all, and have a good, big playlist on the channel after. And of course, after this, we'll check out Saints and Sinners, and there's a ton of other stuff I want to get into too. So this should be fun. Let's begin. First, let's take a look at your controls. How do you want to turn? Try each option and see what's comfortable for you. Where are you? And why are you in my head? How do you want to move around? Try each style. They're all pretty different. <laughs> Looking good. Now move towards the door. Oh god. You can bash doors and other objects in the environment. Bash the door to open it. Fuck off. Uh-oh. Here comes a walker. You can shove walkers to get some space. Try it now. I'd rather just not go into the fucking room. <clears throat> Piss off. You can also grab walkers in a choke to hold them in place. It's weird. I've never seen them do that before. Now throw the walker away from you to make only Piss one off. way to keep them down for good. Choke the walker and stab it in the head. Do I have to... Do I have to choke him? First walker kill, you ready? Piss Fighting off. isn't the only way to survive. Time to learn about scavenging. Now that you have everything, let's focus on the locked door. Locks can be broken by bashing them with any weapon. Tyrese vibes. Nice <clears throat> job. Sometimes you can find materials inside containers. Bash the container to open it. Bring back all the food you can find so our community can grow. <clears throat> I really wish they'd stop bringing me into these dark rooms with a- Let's see what that hammer can do to a walker. Oh, you're gonna find out. <clears throat> what? <clears throat> There's another one. <clears throat> Try it on this one. Piss off. Let's oh. test your aim. Try I'm looking forward this to one. this. <laughs> he tried it. Some weapons can be stabilized with your offhand. Steady the pistol and take a shot at those walkers. What? When you want to reload, eject the magazine and grab a new one from your hip using your offhand. You can aim down the sights of your gun for more accuracy. Nice shooting. Why don't you try this one out? <laughs> this lever action shotgun packs a punch. Looks Use like both it. hands to keep it stable. Lever action guns need to be cycled each shot. Quickly flick the gun to cycle it. Oh, 
Um. If you pick up another weapon, you'll swap it for whatever you're holding. Pick up this machete. <laughs> it's best to keep a balance of firearms and melee weapons at all times. Looking good. Blue handle machete. Time for a live shit. test. What? Don't move. A walker's gonna break through that door. Remember, you can shove walkers away using your hands or any weapon. Shove it with your arm hand first. I'm gonna rather just cap it in the head. Oh! I want to fucking. Oi, step back. Shove the walker <laughs> using your infant. Good. Now try it with a weapon. Now move forward and finish it off. Head through where the walker came in. You tried. Stop playing games with me, woman. <clears throat> Welcome to the new world. Here we go. Prologue. What comes with? That's such a Walking Dead title. Damn. Whoa. The hell was Daryl thinking coming out here by himself? Well, just remember. Protocol dictates that things are going to heat up real fast out there. No kidding. Be ready to meet at the fallback spot. I will await your signal and arrange your rendezvous when mission success has been achieved. Well, for a start, that's not Andrew Lincoln. You can have got Come on, who's that? Mark Wahlberg or something. What kind of wrench? So this is like season six. No, season eight, right? Season eight, and I'm on a supply run. There's a walker right there. Come on. Come on, you. Come on. <clears throat> and another one. Come on. <clears throat> so I don't know whether to go back up there or well, let's just say find out what happened to the dead girl what would Rick do I mean yeah Cam. yeah it looks like him there he is <clears throat> oi I thought I was being ambushed then I won't lie Daryl Daryl, you better have a damn good reason for running off. You saying you wouldn't come with me? Yeah. Don't mean I can't do it myself. I told you not to go. Don't answer to you, Rick. I have people to protect. That includes you. There's a life at stake. Do you even care? That isn't what I'm... Maximum walkers coming this way. Might want to hunker down. Drive to the fallback spot, Eugene. We can settle this later. You do what? Take this. Well, thank you. Van's moving to the East Road. Let's go. Yeah, I know the way. Watch it! <laughs> He's always doing this shit. Arguing with Rick, getting him hurt. Guarantee the wall. Take the path to your left. I'll see you at the van. Daryl. Daryl. Shit. Yep. How to get to the van? Fast. Have you noticed that Daryl's always arguing with him? He always ends up. Fu Shit. Should I mow them down? There's so many. Don't have the choice to hold on. Weapon will. Just get back. I forgot how to open the weapon wheel. 
<laughs> Fuck off for a minute, please. <laughs> Fuck this. Let's actually open the weapon wheel now. That's good. Oh god. Carefully. There we go. Is there any way to get up here? Probably not. You can't climb. Let's get out of here. Your leg. Just a little banged up from the bridge. I'll be fine. Doesn't look fine to me. Can we go already? Eugene, get that engine running. You still owe me a talk. <laughs> he owes him a talk. Andrew Lincoln owes Rick a talk. I don't know who the fuck. That leg isn't going to heal anytime soon. It's so right. It was worth it. It's better than it looks. <laughs> Rick, we got a line on those supplies. You ready to go? Stay here. We'll talk when I get back. Okay, that didn't last long. Whoa. So this is Alexandria. This is way before even the Whisperer War started. Something different about you, Darren. I can't quite put my finger on it. Wow, so you can actually take control of Alexandria and run your own community. Mission. Oh, I know. Hey, now that the war's over, we can finally focus on rebuilding Alexandria. With enough materials, we can build out the community and the arsenal. If you want to go out there, use the map. Sounds good. First thing to do is pick where you want to go. I want to go to the CRM, please. Like now. The scavenger expedition. Select the site on the map to start. Once Military checkpoint. That's fucked up. Looks like you're ready. Get to the van. Eugene is waiting. Where is he? I would like to believe this will go smoothly. Mostly because that means I won't have to exit this fine vehicle. <laughs> Let's see you, big man. What oh, pussy? Open the f by Eugene. <clears throat> Get out. So we can select three characters, Rick, Michonne, or Carol. I mean, I've gone long enough without the big man. Here we go, our first supply run. Military checkpoint. Don't let that herd catch you. Where is it? Try to find whatever supplies you can before the herd catches up. Be safe out there. There might still be a couple of places left in town that have supplies. Shit. Anyway, we don't <gasps> know till we checked. It Fuck. may not be immediately apparent from um, our surroundings, but I've been absolutely 100% assured that this is the spot. We've got to hurry up then. Oh god. The van's gonna come for you soon. Try finding extra supplies. Hey, make sure to look around. Probably more supplies deeper in. Get off! <clears throat> nice find. <clears throat> The vehicle might be very welcome. Oh shit. It'll be quick. I'm uh <clears throat> Oh shit. <clears throat> Get off. 
There's a large group of deceased headed in your direction. Protect the supplies, we'll get out easy. The herd is really close. This is stressing me the fuck. <clears throat> Been through worse. Still wouldn't mind some meds. We are too far. Just hold on. A heavy pistol. Whoa. I'm low on ammo. Better pick my shots. Looks like it went clean through. More walkers on the way. I recommend keeping your safeties in the off position. Shots every time. Let's go. We're halfway to rendezvous. I am impressed by your continued survival and highly supported. What the fuck? Let me out. Oh shit. Right to the head. Hurry up, Eugene. Eugene. Oh, fuck. We are too far. Just hold on. Shit. <laughs> you know what? I can fucking do this. <clears throat> Team, where are you? In this man's opinion, that was damn near perfect. Rajul has joined Alexandria. Maggie sent some materials over from Hilltop. It's all hope from an old friend. Staffing a building with additional workers will improve it. Finally ready to talk? Yeah. I told you not to go out. Why didn't you listen? She's still out there. Who? 
The girl, I told you. Just need another day. I can find her. You came back in a cop car, covered in blood. And I asked you to tell me what happened, and instead you ran off. What's going on with you? I need you to trust me. No, Daryl. I'm trying to rebuild after a war. I need everybody here, now. Ah, fine. You really want to know what happened out there? Shit. First thing I heard was Eugene on the radio. Anybody there? I heard one hell of a cacophonous crash. Everything hunky-dunky on your end? Next, I heard the walkers. I needed a weapon. Fast. Can you hear me? I believe your vehicle may have been compromised. In some form of vehicular transportation and head for Alexandria. I found one just in time. Yeah, I got your friend. Where'd you end up? I was in the middle of a camp. Looked destroyed. Any survivors? Nah. I was just hoping for meds. <laughs> Poor kid. Hope they made it. Driver's State Park. Heard of it? Why were you out so far? It was supposed to be a shortcut back. Eventually, I found some meds. Shit. The place was crawling. Had to keep moving. It fixed me up. But it wasn't long to rest. Why didn't you tell me any of this before? Didn't have time. Still don't. It took you two days to get back. You don't think I need to know what's going on? Uh. Winchester was turning into the only choice I had. Sounds like the pub in Tune of the Dead. Found a cop car. That's the one you drove home? Wasn't that easy. The gun on the hood helped though. Right in time too. My arms were getting tired. The place was shit housed. People must have panicked. The military had put up some kind of a barricade. They were probably trying to keep things under control. If you say so. before the barricade came down. The only choice was to fight. Shit. Called the military. Shit. Shit. Got through, barely, and I headed toward town. First step to getting home. This is taking too long. Need to keep looking before the trail goes cold. 
Not until you tell me the whole story. You haven't even said who you're looking for. Your life's in danger. Ain't right. If we leave, things here might fall apart. We're trying to rebuild. I'll tell you the rest. But if you won't help, I'll find someone who will. Tell me everything, and you might not have to. So, that's the end of part one. Daryl is currently telling Rick the story. He's been through stuff, and he hasn't told him the whole thing. And so, right now, this chapter is finding out exactly what happened with Daryl and why he hid it. Now, I'm going to start posting these in parts. I'll start gradually pushing them out. And then after, or likely even during when we play Onslaught, I'll start Saints and Sinners. And there's a ton of other projects I want to start whilst I'm playing Onslaught too. And of course the videos I've been doing, the theories and the discussions, will carry on as normal too. This is just another series I'm adding to the channel, and it's the start of many, many more. Let me know what you thought of this video. Do you want to see more like this? What other games do you want me to start a series on? If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you press the like button. It will help me out and look at this video seen by more people. And of course, make sure you subscribe so you're the first to see my videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.